it's not a great presentation unless you have James Bond in it. Um, James Bond, the latest movie, uh, brought out uh, a really, really fantastic car that was printed in 3D. Uh, first 3D car, uh, uh, th first vehicle ever printed in 3D. Now, most of the infrastructure that we look in the motor industry when we look at 3D technology is used in the space of innovation, creating parts that we need to now to kind of manufacture and we create... Uh, beta engines and we, we, we're working with different things and, and that 3D technology has helped us to speed up the process of innovation because we don't have to create construction lines to actually handle this. The idea of actually printing an entire vehicle is uh, quite absurd and we wonder is the cost of this actually even worthwhile doing but I'll tell you what's happening that's really interesting is when you take 3D printing as, a, as an idea, not just in the industry of, tra of transportation but if you take it as, a, as, a, as an infrastructure and a technology shift across the world and you couple it with the fact that through things like social media and the internet, consumers have got a lot more voice than they've ever had before. And so what we're starting to see is consumers are starting to demand customized solutions, which their industries aren't ready to handle. And because these industries aren't ready to handle them yet, because basically to create a solution, we have to go so far back in the distribution channel, so far back in the creation channels to actually get that product out to a customer. Firstly, it takes ages. And secondly, by the time that's happened, the whole consumer market has moved on. And so we actually need to find ways to be able to meet these demands a lot quicker. And 3D printing is starting to do this in consumer products all over the place. There are websites that you can go in and you could say, I'd like a glass shaped like this, and you just draw it on a piece of paper. And they will design that, mock it up, and do it in 3D printing and email it. I mean, not email it to you, but post it to you. And so we're starting to see a world where customized products are not only just what people want, but are actually also deliverable through technology like 3D printing. And so we might start to see some really fantastic vehicles that are one-off vehicles on the roads at any given point, such as this particular vehicle. The uh, technology that has actually fascinated me the most in, in, uh, in this presentation has been evacuated tube, te uh, tube technology. Now, I'm sure that most people in this room have a deep understanding of this. But if you're if, if you, if you, if you sort of new to, it, new to the idea, it's very simple. Uh, you create a tube, you take all the air out so there's no friction, and you move people from one point to the other using, the, uh, using very, very little thrust at the end of the day. And your carbon emissions drop, your usage on uh, minerals and oils drop uh, in the same place, and a whole ton of opportunities now open up. Now, given the fact that you often need a long tube to do this, where they're really starting to see opportunities here is actually in city-to-city city transport from one point to another, 